So, it looks like recently the machine, the Burt Kreischer story, which got its own film, has now had a new life breathed into it via Netflix's streaming platform. If you didn't know, essentially Burt Kreischer teamed up with Mark Hamill as well as Jimmy, uh, I don't remember his last name, but he essentially uh, is the life of Jimmy guy from YouTube, and basically did a movie of his classic comedy comedy story, The Machine. Now, I did a review a while back. I didn't care that much for this film. I think a lot of the issues with it lie in the really kind of weird mishmash between this telling of the story in the younger version of, uh, you know, Bert versus the older version. Although I think that the relationship between Bert Kreischer and Mark Hamill was really good, and they had a lot of really great chemistry, which was surprising. However, generally, I feel like they didn't utilize that to its maximum extent and again focused more on the traditional story and the like flashback scenes. There was also a really weird scene where essentially Burt Kreischer talks to the younger version of himself, which I, I, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be this more metaphorical thing. But, you know, this idea that this guy is bending time and space in order to fucking talk to an older version or a younger version of himself is kind of kind of funny in some ways but really just fucking stupid in so many other ways regardless of what I thought about it however it definitely does seem to be doing well over on Netflix's platform it's apparently received 5.7 million total watch hours with 3.1 million views in its first week and it has its first week in Netflix's top 10 globally now this can really help a movie because then Netflix will keep it on its front page and usually more and more people will click on to it and on top of that it makes sense that this movie did better over on Netflix considering the type of audience that Burt Kreischer has. He has a more YouTube, Netflix, and streaming based audience and on top of that this came out on Memorial Day and it just wasn't during the best period for people going to the cinemas. Now obviously this may not br uh, bring it back and make it like a successful film but it definitely will make up for some of the losses that were incurred from its poor box office performance. Now, I, I don't really see a lot of people still talking super highly of this movie. There are definitely some really diehard Burt Kreischer fans that are seeming to be in love with it, but I'm definitely curious to see if this has a big drop-off or anything, considering that this film uh, overall uh, just doesn't seem to be getting rave reviews or anything like that. Although, I will admit, it doesn't necessarily have to have rave reviews in order to be able to, to do successfully over over on Netflix, etc. It just has to kind of keep floating near the top. So what do you guys think? Do you think that this film is going to fall off severely? Do you think that it's going to maintain its kind of role and just get bigger over on Netflix? Have you seen the film? Did you enjoy it? Did you like it or dislike it? And did you agree or disagree with any of my analysis of the film? Definitely let me know in the comments down below, as well as you can go check out the review over on the channel. You can also like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, keeping you in the loop of all things movie news. And uh, besides that, we have gaming sessions for gaming content, movie sessions, for trailer content, uh, Crazy Rocky for variety content, and our tri-podcast channel for the podcast that we do. And besides that, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Swim too far, then my head goes under. If we take it as it is, then there ain't no wonder. It's hard to imagine.